So in this video, we'll talk about the idea of a linear combination. Suppose we have some vectors v sub one, v sub two, etc., v sub n that are in the vector space R m. A linear combination of these vectors is a simple idea. We multiply each vector by a number x one multiplied to v one, x two multiplied to v sub two, etc., x n multiplied to v sub n, and these numbers x sub one to x sub n are all real numbers. What are these multiplications called? That's right. These are scalar multiplications of these vectors. And if we add all these scalar multiplications of these vectors, that forms a linear combination of the vectors v sub one to v sub n. Let me give you an example. Suppose we have v sub one equal to two two and v sub two equal to four zero. Let's look at what kind of linear combinations we can form out of v sub one and v sub two. If we take x sub one equal to zero and x sub two also equal to zero, then x sub one multiplying v sub one plus x sub two multiplying v sub two is zero zero. And remember, x sub one, x sub two can be any real numbers. So we have a lot of freedom in making our choices. We can let x one. Equal to one and x two equal to two. What does that give us? X sub one multiplying v sub one is equal to two two, and x sub two multiplying v sub two is eight zero. So the linear combination of v sub one and v sub two with this choice of coefficients is going to be ten. Two. And we can continue with different choices. For example, if x sub one is equal to one, but x sub two is negative two, the corresponding linear combination would be negative six, two. So by forming different linear combinations of v sub one and v sub two, we got several different vectors in R two, and we can keep getting more. By taking different coefficients x one, x two, and get forming different linear combinations. So, what are all the possible linear combinations of the vector v sub one and v sub two? To answer this question, it will be helpful to look at the geometric representations of these vectors. Here is the Cartesian coordinate representing the space R two, and vector v sub one is two two, which is this vector. This is v sub one, and v sub two is four zero, which is this vector. So when x sub one is equal to one and x sub two is equal to two, we're keeping v sub one as it is, but stretching v sub two to twice as its original length. So this is two times v sub two. So when we add them together, v sub one plus two times v sub two, we get this vector, which was. Ten two, and then when we keep v sub one as it is, but multiply v sub two by negative two, we got this vector as negative two v sub two. So when we add v sub one and negative two v sub two, we get this vector, which is why v sub one minus two v sub two is negative six two. So from this picture, we can see that if we keep v sub one as it is, but scale v sub two, and then when we add them together, we're basically adding a vector in this or this direction of an arbitrary length, and the new vector we get is going to be something like this, or this, or this, or this. So all the vectors beginning at the origin and ending. Somewhere on this line, and similarly, if we stretch v1 as well, then we're going to form linear combinations that are vectors that start at the origin, but with endpoints along this line. So vectors like this, and we can stretch v sub one to any arbitrary length. So the endpoints of this linear combination can reach any point. Along these lines, and we can reverse the direction as well and stretch it to an arbitrary direction, to an arbitrary length, and form linear combinations that are vectors ending at any points along these horizontal lines or this horizontal line. These lines are going to cover 
the entire space of R2. That means any vector in R2 can be represented as a linear combination of V sub 1 and V sub 2. For example, let's pick an arbitrary vector here. Say it is vector B. Then if I stretch V sub 1 to this vector, so this vector is X sub 1 multiplying V sub 1, and then multiply a scalar to V sub 2 so that this vector is X sub 2 multiplying V sub 2, then B is X sub 1 times V sub 1 plus x sub 2 times v sub 2, which is a linear combination of v sub 1 and v sub 2. So the set of all possible linear combinations of this set of vectors v sub 1 to v sub n actually has a formal name. It's called the span of this set. So what we just saw in this example was that the span of the vectors v sub 1 and v sub 2 is the entire space of two-dimensional vectors, R2.